Hi, and welcome to, what's that? <laughs> Sorry, new people. My regular subscribers say that my hair's changed a little bit. Yeah, it has. I um, finally dyed my hair a little bit closer to its natural color. Long story short, about um, a year ago, I decided that I could only go blonde one more time in my life. So I bleached my hair, destroyed it, and ever since then, I've been in a process to get my hair back to looking healthy and I'm feeling great about it. But I was saying, welcome to Mystery Vox Monday, <laughs> because today is Monday and I'm going to be opening some mystery yarn. Um, my mystery yarn is going to be coming from Mary Max Maxim today. Also, welcome to anybody who is new. Um, I hope you enjoy this content. I talk all about yarn and crochet. I have tutorials, um, mystery box unboxings. I dye yarn. Um, I, I have giveaways, all sorts of things. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it um, a thumbs up. You might want to subscribe. <laughs> and if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell because, again, I have lots and lots of giveaways. You're going to want to know about them and the notifications will let you know. So you're going to want to hit that notification bell because you're going to want to know when I post my giveaways so you can enter to win, right? <laughs> All right, so um, I have two Mary Maxim mystery boxes. Um, they, you know, these mystery bags are ones that I open over and over at the channel. And you know what? They're one of my favorite mystery bags. Um, they're really um, inexpensive comparatively. And I always get you know, really good stuff. And I, I always feel like there's um, a good deal when I open them. Now, they come in these clear bags. So when I get them in the mail, they're not necessarily a mystery to me. But something that I love is that these bags end up making really great storage for my yarn. I have cats and I want to keep my yarn clean and away from any kind of cat hair and stuff like that because some of the things that I make are for people who are allergic to cats and you know I want to make sure that my yarn is clean and all of that so these um, plastic bags not only can I see what's inside of them so I can very easily see my um, my stash but also it keeps them protected so just wanted to mention that. <laughs> that said, this is my first bag, and I am really curious about some of the things in it. Um, so let's get started here. So um, I'm very happy that I have some more Max Mary Maxim Mellow Spun DK. This is really, really soft. Um, it's 70% acrylic and 30% um, nylon. Um, and it's, it's just, um, 174 yards, but it goes a long way. It's a three weight. And, um, I've compared this to, um, Cascade, um, 220 Superwash. And two of these equals one of those, basically. And one of those costs around 10 to $12 each. And one of these costs $1.99. So basically, um, you can get, if you buy two of these, that's that's four dollars for what would have been maybe twelve dollars so um it's just a little um thing that i <laughs> it's a little piece of advice that i'd like to pass on so i in this bag so far it looks like i have two of this dark taupe um i just call it brown <laughs> but they call it dark taupe and i have two of these um lighter purple one let's see what this, what they're calling that light mauve that's what they call that so i'm happy so far let's see what else that i got now um it's really rare for me to get any kind of red heart um yarn in the mail um <laughs> it's really rare for me to get any red heart yarn in my mary maxim box is what i meant but yes in the mail too because i don't tend to order it um unless it's the um red heart Super Saver Ombre. I love it, that yarn. And if you just add a little bit of um, liquid fabric softener in the washer, it softens up so much. But some people, it's kind of rough to work with on their fingers. And anyway, um, I was really excited that they um, included a Red Heart colorscape. Every time I get one of these, I think it's so pretty. And this has a lot of really nice fall colors. I don't know really much about what I would do with this. Um, let me see what the name of this is. Oh, this is Rome. So I guess it's probably um, named after different cities. 
That's pretty. Um, but I think it's a four weight. Um, I think I have enough here to make a hat. And I can think of a really nice hat that I would like to make. So yeah, it'd be a very, very pretty hat if I decided to make that, which I am, definitely. Um, but yeah, I really like this, um, this Red Heart colorscape. You know, Red Heart has a whole lot of really nice yarns. I mean, I, I love their, um, um, Unforgettable as well, but, you know, I don't usually get them in my mystery bags from Mary Maxim. Um, and <laughs> I really said that more because I got, um, a 3.5 ounce of Red Heart Classic. Now this is actually, like, I don't know if this is a super saver or, or what, but it's actually kind of like more rough <laughs> than a super saver is. This is called Jockey Red. Um, it's a 3.5 ounce, 190 yards. Something that I can, I think of when I think of this though, is I live in Arkansas and, um, I hope this doesn't ostracize you. If you, if you really into football, that is awesome. We can still be friends, but I'm not really into it. But everybody's into the Razorbacks, especially like in the Southeast Conference. At least I think that's what we're in. Is, are we in the Southeast Conference? It's looking it up. See, we're just not a football place, but they, they always, you know, they play against Alabama, like World Tide and, and like LSU with their tiger. It's really cute. And it's cause it's a cat and I love cats. But I, whenever I get the, get this and it's like red, I always think, oh, I know, I know some Razorback fan will like, like it if I make them like some kind of Razorback hat out of it. And they always do. They think it's so great. And, you know, again, it's really durable, the red heart, so. Sorry, I'm blabbing. I'm just feeling talkative today. I'm just really effervescent and bubbly and just really happy. And um, probably because I get to spend some time with you guys. <laughs> so here is the area. Are we the Southeast Conference good? Yeah, okay, I got it right. <laughs> so here is the thing that I was really, really curious about. I saw this. I saw this in my very maximum bag, like, it, cause it's see-through, but I didn't open it until now. Like, you're seeing me open this, like, for the first time. So I've had, I haven't gotten to touch or actually see what these are. Have you ever heard of this? It's called Yarnado. What is that? What is Yarnado? Why does Lion Brand have its stamp on this? Is this out? Like, is this no, no longer, like, in stock anymore? Are they not making it? What is this? It's a medium four weight, 3.5 ounce, 187 um, yards or 170 meters, 100% acrylic. It's really soft and look at those colors. They're really pretty colors. And I got, let's see, what's it called? Oh, it's called Blizzard. Now this doesn't remind me of Blizzard, actually. It actually kind of reminds me of a like some like spring flowers or something like that those pastels at least they look pastel to me but um i got like a package of three and they're all in the same color too and then i got two more so that's five so like what is this so i'm gonna have to look this up and see is this something that lion brand like maybe got rid of they're no longer carrying it and that like mary maxim bought all of it and they're putting it in their mystery boxes or what because yarnado i love this and if i missed it if this is something that lion brand is no longer producing i'm gonna be really sad because i really really like this and i'd like to see it in other colors too um but i'm really happy with this it's so soft it almost feels a little bit like um, you guys will know, those of you who've, who've tried them, like those bamboo sheets that are like self-cooling. I have them on my bed. Love them. I got them on Amazon. Very cheap. Not, you don't have to spend a hundred dollars on, on sheets, you know? We have a king size bed, okay? So, you know, is it, I got it on Amazon. Very cheap, but they are the best, <laughs> they are the best sheets that I've ever had. And they're cool and they're like it, nice and soft. It feels like that, but it's not bamboo. Um, but, my sheets are so that's what it reminds me of i'm so sorry i'm so talkative and then we have this euro baby electric and wow that is look at how neon that is wow that is bright um very very soft it's almost like um chanel um it says it's 55 percent acrylic and 45 percent cotton yeah it's it's definitely like baby yarn um it feels really soft and um 
Yeah, it says soft cotton worsted. Uh, maybe I should have read that first. <laughs> Euro baby soft cotton worsted. Um, let's see, it's it's a four weight. It doesn't look like a four weight to me. Maybe you guys can, like, what? That isn't a four weight. That looks like maybe a two and a half or a three weight, maybe. I don't know about that. What do you guys think? I don't know. But, I mean, it's definitely pretty, if you're into bright colors, and um, I know that some people are. <laughs> I wonder where I fall, right? <laughs> Not so much. But, I mean, I did get a lot. I got um, three balls of this um, in this color. I'm trying to see, like, oh, the color is sherbet. Okay, sherbet, sorbet, <laughs> however you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes sense. I, I, I can understand why that's the color. That's what it's called. It's really pretty. I like it. Um, just, well, I mean, I like the, I like the concept. I just don't like the colors personally, but it's really, it's really pretty. Like, um, as far as the colors going together, like, am I making sense? Oh, I am running my mouth today. Let's, let's keep going. <laughs> so I have another Euro Baby soft cotton worsted in a much more muted color. This is called Sweet Dream. Love this color. Again, I'm not certain how this qualifies as a four. Um, but I mean, it's got the exact same, um, um, stats on it. 55% acrylic, 45% cotton, and all of that good stuff. So, um, it's definitely something that I'm interested in working with and seeing, you know, how it works up. All right. And that first bag is almost empty now. Did want to show you that um, they, they always have different, like, printed out patterns with um, their mystery boxes. Like, we've got this... Um, like hat and scarf set on you know and then we've got this ripple blanket try and see we've got like a toddler vest um what is this oh this is another this is just another blanket i like this throw unfortunately it's not all laid out so i can't really see but uh yeah really cool um just so you know it's, it's kind of cool that you get those patterns and they're both knit and crochet they're just mixed up um so on to the next one. Now, here's something that I think is kind of interesting. Um, usually when I order my Mary Maxim mystery boxes, they're different. Um, or there's a couple of things that are the same, um, but most of it is different, right? Um, th that's something I both love and don't love about Mary Maxim. On the one hand, when I get mystery boxes and they're, they're all the same, then I get more of the same yarn so I can make bigger projects. And I'm one of those people that prefer to make bigger projects. I make lots of blankets. I love that. Um, so in a way, um, it's better when I get like co copies, but in the other way, um, sometimes it's better when I don't because then I get to see different kinds of yarn and um, get to feel different textures and, you know, might fall in love with some other ones. So in this case, it looks like a lot of this is different. So I'm really interested in how some of this ends up feeling. So this first one is um, Bernat Tweedy. It's a 6.4 ounce or 180 gram. Okay, it's 83% acrylic and 17% cotton. Whoa, this is super bulky six. Does that look like a super bulky six to you? That's weird. That does not look like a super bulky six at all to me. But you know what this reminds me? It reminds me kind of of shag carpet. Um, there for a little while after I had um, my son, um, and he's 11 now, so it was a while ago, um, I, I worked for one of the big, big box um, construction <laughs> companies um and it, it just i don't want to say which one because i know some people are really fierce about their loyalties to one or the other whatever one i worked at but i learned about all sorts of stuff about household stuff um and and like and, and i found out that some carpets are made with these loops and this reminds me of it because they're like let me see if i can 
Thirteen. They're like loops around. The, like there's one string and there's loops around it. So it reminds me of carpet, and I have some kind of knowledge to pull from from that. <laughs> just so you know, I worked there for a few years. It was fun. It was just a way to get out of the house um, after I had a baby and and all of that. I don't agree that this is a super bulky, um, but you know it's all right. I can't really imagine myself working with this and really enjoying it, um, but it's definitely interesting and new and different. Um, so kind of interesting there. <laughs> All right, so here's another one. Um, this is Karen Simply Soft, and wow, I have never heard of this before, but it's Karen Simply Soft Party. Look at that. Oh, I absolutely adore that color. It's got these beautiful like sparkles in it. Um, and uh, let me just tell you, it's a three ounce or 85 gram ball. It is classified as a medium, um, I'm sorry, a four weight medium, which is weird. I feel like that's a DK. I don't know. I guess it, I guess I'm, like I'm sizing everything way down today. Um, but it's, like I said, it's Karen, um, Simply Soft Party, and oh, it's beautiful. It is so pretty. It says that there's a free pattern. Oh, this, there's a free pattern for this. She's wearing like a, like a little, what's it called? A, like a cowl or a scarf. There's a pattern for that. Um, and anyway, I got four of these. So like I could actually make something with this. Um, really awesome. I'm definitely going to want to look this up because I've never heard of it. Um, and it's soft. Um, all Karen Simply Soft is soft to me though. I, I love Karen Simply Soft. It's one of the most like like underrated yarns. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's one of those yarns that's really good, but it's not talked about as much as being really good. And it's so affordable. And seriously, I would make most of my sweaters for people with Karen Simply Soft. Um, if I didn't just have, you know, yarn like this laying around from um, hosting this channel and everything, because it's just so soft. But, you know, of course, there's other nice soft things like this Yarnado, whatever that is. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, this is really cool. I'm definitely going to investigate this, um, especially since my daughter wants um, something made. Um, in the color, like, kind of like navy or admiral blue, basically with sparkles in it. I'm like, ooh, if Karen Simply Soft has a color like that, I could save <laughs> on, on that sweater idea. Okay, so let's look through here. Um, I also got four Mellow Spun, uh, Mary Max and Mellow Spun. So this is the same. Um, again, I love this. I, I will collect all of these. I would love to have every color in my stash, like at least 10 of each color in my stash. And that might seem excessive, but I mean, it's just, it's my thing. This is, this is my thing. I like it. And it's, it's not that, it's really not that expensive. But anyway, so this is the Melispun DK. Again, same stats as the others. This one is in... Oh, what is it called? Medium green. And I already have a lot of these. Um, so some of these will probably go into um, just to kind of top off my mystery boxes that I sell on Etsy, you know, stuff like that. But i um, really glad that I have more of this color because, you know, these greens go really well with my skin tone. And of course, that translates to my kid's skin tone <laughs> as well. So if I want to make something that I know will look good on my kids, <laughs> and you know those kinds of colors so I also got this Bernat pop bulky now I'm one of those people that I just do not like Bernat pop like as far as the colors go um the texture's fine I it you know but for some reason I've never really liked the colors they pick out that go together um I'm thinking that maybe um like one of the one of the colors is supposed to really pop out at you and that's why they call it that um but like there's something about the colors that just don't work in my brain like it my brain feels like it's too busy but that's not to say I don't like this it's just I'm not going to use it um <laughs> but it's cool <laughs> you know um I I sure do know if if I made 
more blankets out of bulky or super bulky yarn I, I would have way well I already have way too many blankets but anyway let me see if I can find what color this is this is called radiant waves all right so it's kind of like the beach and the sun yeah I, I can see that and um, let me see what else do we have so it's a um, super bulky six hmm, let's see how many I'm trying to see how many yards Hmm, 147 yards. So that's pretty good for a super bulky six. Um, you can, you know, you can get those and they end up being like just 50 yards or something like that. So you could do something with this. I don't know what I'd do with it, but yeah. <laughs> so you've got that. I got another Euro baby, but this is in a completely different color. Again, I am still amazed that this is a medium four weight. This, this color is called um wait a minute how is this called this one's called sorbet wait a minute oh okay so there is a difference between sherbet and sorbet this one's called sorbet and this one's called sherbet and i'll prove it to you can you see i don't know if the it's right there it might be hard to see i don't know if you guys can see it because it's like right in front of my face and i can't see through that but I'm sorry I'm taking such a long time, you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're on the last ones, guys. Um, and sorry about that cut. I had to blow my nose. It happens. Fall. Fall allergies. <laughs> It, it's a thing. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we have some Fair Isle Kodiak yarn, and I got four of the same color. Absolutely love it. Um, I love this yarn so much. Um, Fair Isle is rumored to be um, no longer um, producing yarn anymore. I, get, I what I'm imagining is that Mary Maxim just bought all of their all of the stuff that they had and they like distribute it in their um, mystery bags. Um, and I have all sorts of colors of this. Really love it. It's clearly made of wool. It's a little scratchy, you know, like like wool can be, but it's not like overly so. But I really love it. It's a um, four weight, um, let me see, how many? 157 yards each. Um, and for me, 150 yards of a four weight will make a hat. So, um, really, really like it. Got four of them, which is awesome. So, um, we've got that. And then, and then the very last thing is just, oh, so we have, um, we have a, this is called a stargazer throw because it, it looks like stars on there. So we, we have some more of, of these. Um, let's see, here's a, some pillows. Yeah. And let's see what else we have. Um, a Christmas tree scrubby <laughs> right there. And then um, this is an interesting... It's called a stacked rings cow. This one is a knitting pattern. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's what you get in Mary Max and mystery boxes, mystery bags. I have so I like have all of this yarn piled up um, right next to me, and it's just amazing how much you get. Um, not disappointed at all. Even though some of these are things that I would never have bought, like. Um, like this shag carpet or the pop or this particular color um it's definitely a net positive and totally worth it um so yeah and and another thing about mary maxim is that they always have coupons you can always find a coupon at least for 20 percent off um and um you can either use that app honey coupon um which you know that runs in your browser if, if you don't use that then you can always just google it like just google mary maxim coupon code and you'll get some coupon codes to put into um with your order and um it, it can help you save on already a great deal so that said i um am so happy that i could share this mystery box one day with you um thank you so much for watching to the end and i will see you soon with another video <laughs> bye for now